good morning. Or whatever time it is you're watching this. I mean, I'm drinking coffee, so it's usually the morning. Although, I gotta say, I do drink coffee. I've been known to drink coffee at all times of the day. Any day, and every day. Sometimes, I prefer tea. Or other beverages. But, uh, good morning equals coffee. For yours truly. So, um, it's been a while. And I wanted to just, uh touch base with everyone again. I've been um, locked up like most people, but I've also been getting out a bit more and more. In fact, we just got back from the uh, Scrum Gathering, the Global Gathering in, in Denver, Colorado. So that was a treat. It was a joy to see everyone again, uh, be face to face. I gave out a few mugs. I gave out a couple dozen decks of cards. Uh, I spoke there, got some pictures taken, had a lot of good food and drinks, and of course the memories of seeing people again can't be beat. So what is it though about uh, me and coffee? People say, don't you get so amped up with coffee or doesn't it bring you down hard? Well, like anything, I mean, too much of something usually isn't enough. Um, the idea here and the word that kind of resonated with me this morning was that of sustain, being able to sustain your energy uh, or your vision or your concentration, whatever the challenge is that's in front of you, if you have the ability to take the long view, then I think you're in good shape. And so when I think of doing you know, any type of project work or working with a client, there's always going to be ups and downs. You might get caught in doldrums or have disagreements or, or feel like um, if you're a creative, you might feel that idea of like writer's block, that creative block. And um, all I can say is just trust the process. It's the long view that you want to keep. You could apply that to your personal lives as well. I mean, you could um, say, for instance, you're looking at the stock market every day. I'd advise not to do that every day, but some days you might be feeling very exuberant because of the way things are headed. And other days, just despondent like you've never felt before because things just seem to keep getting worse and worse. So greed and fear drive a lot of our decisions, and of course the stock market is one example. Um, but again, I return, personally, I've always returned to this idea of the long view. It, it could imply to slow down. I think uh, working in sprints, as Scrum uh, advises us to, working in sprints is good. Having smaller intermediary uh, goals, so you may have a long goal and long visions that might be months or years or decades even away. But if you're working in little chunks, you should be able to stay on track and consistently use that empirical process of kind of inspecting and adapting. Um, going back, um, having a retrospective, getting some feedback if you're working with clients or building a product, whatever it might be. But again, the long view helps you out in times of crisis. People say, but I just want to get stuff done. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this from another scrum gathering. Get stuff done. Uh, well, that's fine. That's all well and good. Just work in smaller batches. Work on smaller activities so that you can get that feedback so that you know you're not going off course too far. Keep looking at the long view, checking in with your client, with your customers, whoever it may be. Um, work in small batches as opposed to trying to bite off more than you or the team can chew. Because then if you don't get it done within a sprint or you don't have sprints or iterations, you're just kind of meandering and there's no clear end in sight, uh, working on smaller bits helps you get through that. You can still work fast. You can work very fast. And working with small bits helps you accelerate because it builds up the team's confidence that we're on the right path. It lets the customer know, you, or if the customer lets you know rather, that you're going on the right, uh, down the right course, you can go like, take out all the stops full steam ahead, right? Um, so work on smaller pieces, keep the long view, and that will help you sustain your energy, your vision, your goals over the long run. So until next time, come on back to the coffee house and enjoy some of these little shots of espresso and other caffeinated wisdom. <laughs> I'm Vic Bonacci, we'll see you around.